all right how's everybody doing today welcome back to another video for everyone and today what i have for everyone is my full review of the accessories that i picked up for the samsung galaxy s10e all right so in particular for the s10e i picked up a case from jet tech and i picked up a set of temper glass protectors from mp mall in particular the protectors are a lens protector for the rear camera glass and a front screen protector for the display from mp mall so in this video here today i'm going to run down the categories and give you guys and gals my overall opinions and thoughts on these two accessories and then at the end of the video I'm going to share with y'all my overall recommendation and tell y'all if this, these two accessories are worth picking up for your S10e. Alright, so hopefully by the end of the video you guys and gals know if not if these accessories are worth it. Alright, that being said, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, now starting off, let's talk about the case first and then we'll transition into the screen protector. So starting off talking about the overall build quality and design of the case, I have to say it is really, really good. Now this particular case has your faux carbon fiber design to it. So you got your brush pattern in the middle, then you have your faux carbon fiber up at the top, and you got your faux carbon fiber down at the bottom. And you can see we got a little bit of company branding right there as well. And I gotta tell y'all, the overall design on this case is really, really good in my opinion. We do got your diamond honeycomb pattern on the inside to help with shock, shock absorption as well. Really, really good overall design. Now I gotta tell y'all, cause I gotta keep it straight 100. I am biased towards this design. This faux carbon fiber look is one of my favorites. I pretty much get this style of case for any device that I'm thinking about keeping long term. So I'm kind of biased towards this design. So I just wanted to keep it 100 and tell y'all that up front. Talking about the build quality now, this is all primarily TPU plastic, okay? Okay, it's just different gradients and different design patterns on the same TPU plastic. But overall, I am a big fan of the overall build quality and design on this, on this case. And I would have to say it is top notch. Top notch indeed. All right. Now, moving on, let's talk about the overall fit and the feel of the case. And at the same time, we can talk about the overall fit and feel of the screen protector as well. Now, talking about the fit and feel of the case on the device, I got to tell y'all, let's, let's show y'all how easy the installation is. The fit and feel of the case on the device is top notch. Now I've got my microfiber cleaning cloth down so the device doesn't slide around when we pop it in and out of the case. But the overall fit and feel of the case on the device is top notch. So you can see we got all the necessary cutouts for the cameras. We got all the, necess all the necessary cutouts for one of the speakers, the USB type C charging port, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, okay? You can see our volume buttons and power button are fully protected, all right? Flipping it this way, you can see our fingerprint sensor has a nice cutout with a nice phrase lip around it, so it's easy to find and easy to feel. And overall functionality of it is perfect, okay? So really good stuff there as well, all right? And you can see the overall cutouts for the case are perfect as well. So all precision cutout, no issues whatsoever. So the overall fit of the case on the device is top notch, and the overall feel of the case on the device is top notch. Now this adds much needed grip around the sides and the back. And you can see it's not really sliding out of my hands if I shake it. Okay, and I'm keeping a very loose grip. So this adds much needed overall uh, grip to the device and that's important because this bad boy is glass front and back so it's very slippery if it's not in the case so so the overall fit and feel of the case on the device is top notch in my opinion now moving on talking about the overall fit and feel of the screen protector here 
again this is another area where I would say it is top notch so you can see looking at the screen protector giving you a nice close up you can see it's almost full protection but it just leaves a little bit of a unprotected border slightly outside of the display but other than that it is almost full protection I can't say full because it does leave that gap but the overall fit of the screen protector on the device is top notch you can see we got a precision cutout for the front facing camera so that fits perfectly and the fact that MP Mall provided an assistant uh, uh, an assisted installation tray makes this overall installation process super easy right you line it up on the tray you drop it in you're good to go so the overall fit of the screen protector on the device is really good again I can't say top notch because it's not edge to edge protection and the overall feel of the screen protector on the device is top notch again with it on the device I can't tell that there's a screen protector on the device and it has maximum touch sensitivity on it and it's just working exactly how I want it to work and essentially when we pick up accessories for our devices, whether they be screen protectors or otherwise, we just want them to provide maximum protection for our device while maintaining maximum functionality. And I gotta tell y'all, the overall sensitivity of the screen protector on the S10e is pretty much perfect and I haven't had any issues. So the overall fit and feel of the screen protector on the device is top notch. Okay, as a matter of fact, the overall feel because the touch sensitivity is top notch. The overall fit is really good. Again, not quite top notch because it does leave a slightly exposed border around the whole device. All right, so that goes over the fit and feel for the case, and that goes over the fit and feel for the screen protector. All right, and same thing applies to the lens protector on the back. It goes on perfect and I haven't had any issues with it. All right, now, moving on, let's talk about the overall protection that the case provides, right? Now, as I said earlier, this is precision cut, but you can see all the cutouts have a nice raised lip on them. So we do have full protection for the cameras on the back with a nice raised lip. We do have full protection for the fingerprint scanner with a nice raised indented lip on it so you know where to find it okay so you know exactly where it is you know exactly how to find it and we do have a nice raised lip on the front of the case so we do have a little bit of screen protection so if I drop it face down like this don't have to worry about my screen getting damaged and because of that lip it is also very screen protector friendly as well so in terms of protection with the case, it is top notch and that screen protector friendliness is kind of like a really nice bonus. All right, so although the fit of the screen protector is not the best, I understand why they did it like this because leaving that little extra bit of border does make, make the cases or what have you screen protector friendly. All right, so overall protection on the device with the case is top notch top notch indeed now moving on let's talk about the overall installation process of the screen protector on the device or the overall ease of installation and again from an installation standpoint this screen protector was extremely easy to install and NP Mall provided everything that you need to get it installed perfectly out of the box Okay, so they had two tempered glass screen protectors, two lens protectors for your camera, okay, they had a microfiber cleaning cloth, a small one, they had wet wipes, they had dry wipes, they had the assisted installation tray, and they had full detailed written instructions with pictures, and it was nicely laid out and easy to understand. But they also went above and beyond by also providing an installation video, okay? So in terms of the installation process, you should really have everything that you need. And I gotta tell y'all, having that installation tray, that makes the installation process super easy, all right? 
And as long as you keep in mind my pro tips, the installation process should be a breeze. So again, pro tips being, you need to wash and dry your hands thoroughly, okay? Turn off all airflow in the room that you're installing the tempered glass screen protector. This way, no dust particles or hair fall onto your device while you're doing the installation. Other than that, you just wanna follow along with the included instructions and or the included video, and you should be good to go. So the overall ease of installation for the MP Mall tempered glass screen protector for the S10e is top notch in my opinion. Top notch indeed. All right? And the overall protection for the Jet Tech case on the S10e is top notch in my opinion as well. And these two uh, products for the S10e, I feel like they go hand in hand and work perfectly with the device. So now I have maximum protection and maximum functionality for my entire device. Good stuff, good stuff indeed. Now, moving on and talking about the case compatibility of the screen protector. Again, I only have one case for my S10e as of the recording of this video and it works perfectly with this MP Mall screen protector. All right? And I was a little nervous because these two accessories for the S10e come from two completely different companies. So there's no guarantee that they will work perfectly together. So the fact that this tempered glass screen protector works perfectly with this case and vice versa means that overall case compatibility should be top notch. Now, I can only attest to the cases that I have tested and as of the recording of this video, which is being recorded uh, May 30th, not May 30th, April 30th, 2021, I could tell y'all that in terms of uh, case compatibility with the screen protector, the MP Mall tempered glass screen protector is top notch. Now I will update you guys in the video description or in the comments if I get other cases and I don't do videos on them, I will update you guys in the comments as to how the temper glass screen protector is working with those newer cases if I don't do videos on them. But talking about the case compatibility for the MP Mall temper glass screen protector, it is top notch. Now. Let's get into the positives and the negatives of the uh, case and tempered glass screen protector together. Then we're gonna talk about the overall pricing of these two products together. And I'm gonna get into my final thoughts and overall recommendations. All right, so talking about the positives, all right? The overall fit and feel of these two products is really good, okay? The overall protection that these two products provide is top notch, all right? The overall insta installation and ease of use of both of these products is top notch, okay? And these bad boys are available for a really great price. So that pretty much summarizes all of the positives. Now, talking about the negatives, there's really only one that I've come across and it strictly has to do with the screen protector. There's no real negatives that I've come across with the case and a nice little bonus that I almost forgot to point out is that this case is full protection but it also works with Qi wireless charging. So you can see wireless charging for the S10e still works through this case. So, that's also another positive. I gotta make sure to throw it up on the screen in post with the other positives, but this case is really good and your wireless charging still works perfectly fine through the case. So, really good stuff there, really good stuff indeed. All right, let me put my wireless charger back. Let me spread my mat back out, or my microfiber cleaning cloth back out. Now, getting on to the negatives, Again, talking about the negatives with the case, I haven't really experienced any, okay? Talking about the negatives with the screen protector, the only one negative that I've found with the screen protector is that it's not edge-to-edge -edge protection, okay?
okay so you do have that open border around the entire device so it's not entirely edge to edge protection now I understand why they did that because that helps it be more case friendly but that is a negative because it does not provide maximum protection for the device so if you're the type of person that just likes to rock your devices with just a tempered glass screen protector on them and no case you will still have some unexposed or unprotected areas so that's a negative nevertheless now if you combine it with a really nice case then you have maximum protection even though you do not have full protection for the display so a really nice fix for not having full protection because of the screen protector is just get you a nice high quality case that and it should work but that goes over all of the negatives and that goes over all of the positives of these two accessories again as I always do I have I'll have a full list of the positives and a full list of the negatives thrown up in post y'all feel free to pause the video whenever you see the list that you're interested in and as I always say I am not perfect and I never claim to be so if there's a positive and or a negative that I forgot to mention about both of these accessories okay please leave that feedback down below in the comments only through giving our feedback do manufacturers know where they can improve and where they can just leave their stuff alone okay so only based on our feedback can we truly get better products that we can use to the best of their abilities so please leave all your positives or your negative feedback down below in the comments and as always keep it respectful please all right so that does it there now let's move on to the final part of this video let's talk overall pricing let's talk overall availability let me get into my final thoughts and make an overall recommendation for everyone now talking about the pricing okay the jet tech case for the s10e this bad boy ran me about five dollars did that rhyme the jet tech case for the s10e this bad boy ran me it did hashtag bars about five dollars okay and the mp mall lens protector and two pack of screen protectors ran me about eight bucks so eight ninety nine for the temper glass screen protectors and five dollars or four ninety eight for the case so we're just going to round it off to the closest numbers just to make it easy so nine dollars for the two pack of uh, uh lens protectors and screen protectors and five dollars for the jet tech case all right for a grand total of fourteen dollars all right now i did also pick up a combination rechargeable keyboard and mouse from jellycone bringing the overall price of the accessories up to about a little bit over $63 and you guys and gals let me know would you like to see a full review on the jellycone fully rechargeable keyboard and mouse I'm gonna leave that up to y'all down below y'all leave that feedback you comment yes I want that review I'll make the review you comment no I'm good you don't have to review it I won't make that review so y'all leave y'all feedback down below on that one but talking about the tempered glass screen protector and the case for the Samsung Galaxy S10e and talking about the overall pricing together these bad boys ran me $14 and at that price if you are wondering if I could recommend the Jet Tech case and the MP Mall tempered glass screen protector for that combined price of $14 I would have to say yes because now with this combination of accessories my S10e is fully protected and I still maintain maximum functionality so can I recommend that you guys and gals pick these accessories up I would have to say yes alright that pretty much does it for this review as always I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the video I hope y'all found it helpful okay if you did indeed enjoy the video and or you found it helpful in any shape form or fashion please help your boy out by giving the video a thumbs up that really does help me out you don't know how much 
If you would like to know where, you can pick up all of the accessories that I recommend for the S10e. I'll be sure to leave all those links as well as links to my extended coverage down below in the video description. So as always, if your interest is peaked, down below in the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go. And these links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage of kickback that I do put back into the channel and bringing you guys and gals continuous content and coverage. All right, so I get my small percentage of kickback and no additional cost to you guys and gals, so it's a win-win for everybody. All right, now this whole video here today was recorded with the rear facing primary camera on the S8 Active and this was recorded in 2K resolution at 30 frames per second with no external microphone hooked up, okay? So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality as well as what you think of the overall audio quality down below, okay? Let's get up out of here. As always, I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you guys and gals are staying safe out there and I will catch everyone in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. We are out of here. Peace.